Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to another Prime Icon player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Prime Icon Dennis Burkamp. Now, if you do want to go and pick this card up and try him out for yourself, you will have to spend between 111,000 to 2 million coins. So, looking at some of his in game stats there, in his dribbling, passing, shooting, and pace category, he's got a load of dark greens. And then he's got a few light green and dark greens in his physical category. So getting to this guy's first pro now, what is his volleys? And now this guy also has his key stat has 93 volleys. Now I was very surprised that his volleys were good. Um, I wasn't really expecting um, them to be too good. You know, I know he had really good finishing but wasn't really too sure about his volleys and long shots. But I was surprised when I tried out the card how good this guy's volleys actually are. As you can see here, the first goal there, we do a really nice Blanco hop to a long shot um, volley on his weaker left foot. So getting into the next pro now, what is his weak foot? Now, he feels like he has a 5-star weak foot. Even though he only has a 4-star weak foot, you literally can't tell the difference between his right and left foot is that good. And even from long range, um, you know, shooting into left foot is just as good as his right foot. And as you can see there, we get a really nice goal. And we do a nice heel to heel past the goalkeeper and then finish it off very nicely. And then the final pro I could find with this card was his dribbling. Now, this guy's dribbling is so good. Um, he's not exactly the fastest of players. He's not exactly slow either. Um, but, you know, he really uses that dribbling to beat players very easily. Um, he keeps it really close to his feet. And, you know, it's really hard for defenders to dispossess someone um, when they keep it really close to his feet. And that's what Burkamp does. So what I'd recommend to do with this card is either do the LTRT dribbling or just try and perform a skill moves when you do have the ball because he's really good at doing that. And the next goal here, we do a really nice running double touch exit there. And I'm actually going to be making a skill tutorial on that video, very, very, on that skill move, sorry, um, very, very soon. Because a lot of people in the comment section have been asking how to do that um, skill move. So another one of his pros that I could find, but I couldn't really fit it onto um, the screen, was this guy's finishing. It's absolutely insane. He has around 93, 94 finishing, I think it is. So this guy can basically finish anywhere on the pitch, edge of the box, on his weaker left foot. Um, what of course I've already said feels like his stronger right foot and just from outside the box his finishing is very very good and the only con I could find with this card was his rare work rates he only has medium medium work rates what isn't really the best um, it does mean he drops a little bit too deep at times so what I'd recommend to do if you want to play him in the centre forward position I'd just recommend playing him in the striker position because in game he will drop down into that centre forward position so guys this has been the review if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time